It's the Spirit that calls you to whatever order. When I came here, the Spirit spoke to me and said, this is your home. I'm calling you here. that I'm moving out of the Temporary Professed program into Perpetual Vows, I'm still going to deepen my faith with God. To know that there's people in your family that are really strong in the same religion as you is really comforting. And um, I don't know, I couldn't be any more prouder to have an aunt that's in this and making such a big commitment. very happy for her and it just I feel that I'm just giving her to the Lord and very proud and so we pray for sister Elena that uh, the Lord will bless her in her perseverance in this uh, final profession ceremony in any vocation be it married or single life or religious or priesthood we don't know what's going to happen. And so we put our trust in the Lord, that the, our God is a providential God, and God's Spirit is with us on the journey. And that fear, that unknown, is uh, taken away because of the Lord Jesus, who dwells within our hearts. This place, Alverno, Manitowoc. And today, a great event happens here, higher than the Olympics, uh, even more important than perhaps the Annunciation, and that is Eucharist. And when I was studying theology, if, had I known this um, one particular verse by heart, I could have skipped four years of theology. <laughs> and it's Matthew chapter 26, verse 26. And Jesus took bread, he blessed it, he broke it, and he gave it. That's the heart of our Eucharist. Sterlena has been taken, she is blessed, like all of us, she's broken, and she's given for others. Are you resolved to strive steadfastly for perfection in the love of God and of your neighbor by living the gospel with all your heart and keeping the rule of this religious community of Franciscan Sisters of Christian Charity? I am. Are you resolved with the help of the Holy Spirit to spend your whole life in the generous service of God's people?
willingly offered himself to you in a perfect and fragrant sacrifice. With all your saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we lie, do this in memory of me. We're an ageless community. Our spirit within, we're just ageless. There's this element of a family. When she joined this convent, we, we felt it immediately. You could just, it, it just built naturally on what we had as a foundation in terms of a family. And it was, it, it's been just a great experience for us. We've enjoyed it as well, being a part of this community. Finding this order, I th think she found that great family structure, so everything fits for her. I've noticed that with all the letters and cards I received for perpetual vows, that a lot of them have put down your joy. Once you recognize a call within you, and you accept it and surrender to it, that, that joy just bursts out.